Hey, welcome back everyone to another devlog on Carry Me Melody. It's been quite a while since the last devlog and I know I shouldn't make any excuses but I'm still in Japan and whenever I'm here I feel a bit shy to record videos since I live with other people and I'm scared that they can hear me talk in my room. I know it's silly but that's the reason why I've been gone. But I did work on Carry Me Melody a lot so I have a lot to show you guys. So I'm still in Japan right now, I couldn't fly home due to the whole situation in the world right now. But I'm making the most of my time here, as you know Carry Me Melody is quite heavily inspired by Japan. And I want to show you guys some ways that my experience here in Japan is making its way into the game. So one thing I like to do when I'm in Japan is visit shrines. If you're not sure what a shrine is, it's kind of a holy place, similar to a church I think you could say. It's a place where Japanese people who believe in the Shinto religion can come to worship the deity that is represented at that shrine. So in this case I went to a shrine in the southern part of Tokyo and they had a lot of really cool statues. And one of the statues I really liked was this Kappa statue. So a Kappa is not really a god or some sort of deity, it's a yokai. And a yokai is kind of a Japanese spirit. They can be evil, they can be good. In the case of the Kappa, it's kind of both. And this Kappa was really cute and I really wanted to put a Kappa inspired by this statue into my game. So I started drawing the kappa, you can see him on the screen right here. I drew a bunch of different variations, a small one and a tall one. I think it should be a little bit taller than the players since the kappa should be a tiny bit menacing. I should probably explain the story of the kappa. The kappa is a creature that is set to roam around Japanese rivers. And the story is if you come too close to the river, the kappa will come and take you. I think this story exists to kind of scare away children to go too close to the river. So I wanted to make something inspired by this story. So I started to draw a river village. So this is supposed to be a village where the kappa will live. Since the nature of the kappa is not quite sure, sometimes they're scary and sometimes they're friendly. I thought it might be fun to maybe introduce the kappa in a scary way but later on they will be really hospitable and they will show you to their village and it will be more of a friendly atmosphere since they do look kind of cute and i do feel like the game needs some sort of area where you can just relax and it's a bit more peaceful i would say so i thought the kappa village would be a perfect place so you can see these Japanese style buildings, they're kind of old buildings that you can see all over Tokyo. So when I come to Tokyo, I try to make a lot of pictures of the houses because I like the designs and they can help me with Carry Me Melody. Even though I'm quite happy with these houses, I think they look a bit too modern for Kappa. Kappa seem like more primitive creatures that would build with more primitive materials. So I started to experiment with that. So here's a bamboo house. Uh, I'm not quite satisfied with the coloring of this house, but maybe I can improve on it. And then here there is sort of a mix between the two. So yeah, I'm not quite done with this yet, but I think I'm heading in the right direction. Another thing that made its way into the game from my experience here in Japan is this Japanese garden. You might remember that I drew a mock-up of this quite a while ago and I decided it was finally time to finish this mock-up. So you can see these trees here that you often see in Japanese gardens. I'm not sure what name it is. They kind of look like big bonsai trees to me but bonsai trees are usually kind of small so I'm not quite sure on the name of this particular tree. And then usually these gardens have big rocks in them and in front of the rocks is usually kind of a sandy rock-ish. It's kind of fine rock area and they make this cool pattern in it. Which is kind of hard to show from a side view perspective. But yeah, that's supposed to be in this area. And then another yokai that made its way into the game is this Tengu. 
So the Tengu might actually be the most famous yokai of all the yokai in Japan. You often see people wearing red masks with long noses or sometimes when you go to a shrine there will be some Tengu statues or a big red Tengu head and I always thought they looked really cool and since they do fly I can also add them into the story of the game quite well since Melody is trying to find a way to get her wings back I thought that the Tengu who also possess wings can somehow tie into this story. So the Tengu is another yokai where it's not quite sure if it's evil or good so that will tie into the story as well. Can the player trust these creatures or will they try to harm her in any way? And the habitat of the Tengu is said to be high mountains so this area is supposed to be a garden high in the mountains so you can see some mountains here in the background. And to talk a bit more about the gameplay in this area it's gonna be a bit more about platforming so if we go here you can see there's a feather that the player can collect here so she has to make her way up here somehow and if we go here there will be some wind here and the player will have to platform between these different floating islands and then there is another tengu here that might give the player something this is just a mock-up, um, but this is kind of going to be the general flow of this stage, a lot of platforming. And then lastly, I will show some of the progress I made to the first stage, the fourth stage that's in the game. I got some feedback that the background was a bit too empty and yeah, it was just a bunch of trees. And I think you guys were right, there was something missing. So I really wanted to add some rocks. So you can see these are the same rocks in the garden, but they are recolored. These rocks are a bit lighter in color. So I'm not that good at drawing rocks like things with a lot of angles. I kind of struggle with the highlights and the shadows. I'm not really an artist. So I wanted to make some sort of more abstract type rock. And I also didn't want to draw 10 different rocks that I can place and repeat. I wanted to have some type of modular system where I can build the rocks from different pieces. So I decided to make some tiles. So on the right hand side here you can see there's different rock tiles. In the beginning I just drew some different rocks because I wanted to have different type of rocks. But then I discovered I can just kind of mix and match these rocks. So we can pick this starting piece for example and then we can pick another rock and you kind of have to fit the rocks together. So this is what the rock might end up looking like. I know it looks kind of funky. These other ones look a bit better since I spent more time on them but you get the idea. So there's this rock that's more in the foreground that the player might interact with and then there's some background rocks. And I also added these mountains in the background. Uh, I'm still kind of struggling with the colors. I think this color is a bit too strong, the outline here. But I'm kind of running out of colors in my color palette. But I'll mess around with that later. And then there's these other rocks and some waterfalls as well in the background. And then I also added some small foreground elements like this plant and this flower. I wanted this place to have a bit more of a magical feeling so I thought it would be cool to add these bluish purplish flowers. Colors that you don't typically see on these types of plants in real life. So what do you guys think? Does it look less busy or is it too busy right now? Um, let me know what you think. I think we can only really find out once it's in the game and we can see it all moving together with parallax and stuff but this should give you a general idea of what it might look like so that's kind of it for this devlog i still have a lot of other things to show you guys a lot of programming things i completely rewrote the gui for the editor for example but i'll keep that for the next video just so i can kind of separate the art and the programming or maybe you guys would like me to mix that, I'm not quite sure. But I thought this video would be 
nice to talk just about Japan related stuff since I have been here for a while. Anyways, I hope to make a video soon again now that I stepped over this barrier and hopefully I'll see you guys again next week.